match five. Opponent psyched us out last game by playing a uh, by playing Spike Peter first. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Like I don't get it. Um, you just expose it to being firebolted. But if you play Haliod first, then you can pass like you did last turn. Definitely, definitely uh, caught us off guard though. I tell you that much. Although I guess they misplayed because they could have played. They should have played Heliod first. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. And they just and they just uh, drew it. I think we could have. I think we probably could have. Uh, could have done better. We maybe even could have won the last game. Believe it or not, Heliod. Heliod is. It's not a great matchup. It's probably not favored per se, but it is winnable, and it's nowhere. It's nowhere near as bad as Eldrazi Tron. So, there is that. Um, let's, let's put Gigantha in hand for the, uh, you know, in, in the pot, in the eventuality that we draw a, a land next turn, untap land at that. Probably should light up the stand, nope. Alright, All right, well we we got this, but the problem is is uh, now I think we have to um now I think we have to go for light up the stage because uh we have to get this um soul scar off the table. This is exactly this is exactly what I was hoping for. Well, gotta lava dirt it. And now we're further away from Gigantha. Only only burn spell we draw in this game is Lava Dart. Still mana screwed. Okay, and we finally get a good clean answer. We did not need Blood Moon, so we don't care that that goes away. Oh, yeah, yeah, we hate this card. Well, let's, uh... Cause we have to deal with this, because it, it, it makes dealing with Gigantha a little too comically easy. Man. Well, there's one of our burn spells he wanted. if they attack we take well they don't attack so at least they make that decision easy I mean I guess we attack there's like limited ability for them to punish this we, we need to actually you know win I don't know what the opponent's got could be like multiple season pyromancers or something. Yep, called it. You know how it's like on the other side, so. Well, ditching Blood Moon is a big game. Uh, unfortunately, that's not a, that's not something we have access to.
Well, let's attack. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> We're definitely not winning by holding back. They, they do have the superior late game. Alright, can't really save Abbott, so I'll take that. I'm going to keep them on the defensive, ideally. We'll take if they attack him. Yeah. Okay. Let's play this. We continue. Not drawing good cards, but what can you do? We could lava dart, but not worth it, I don't think. We're kind of hoping to, uh, maybe we should have held on to that flame slash for the bone crusher, but we didn't want to, we didn't want to get attacked by it and lose the race. Okay. All right. Here's where we play, um, blood moon just for the, uh, just for the triggers. And I would lava dart, but just uh, just not worth it. Just considering that we want to play Gigant the next turn if possible. Yeah, and they've got that. Well, here we might actually want to lava dart. It's a tough call, though. You know, it's a tough call, but... But I think we want to do it. Worst case scenario, we draw a land next turn. Or, I think in order to win, we have to draw a non-land card next turn anyway. Ideally, a like flame slash or something. Lava dart might do it too. Well, okay, let's see. We go after the bone crusher. Ooh, if we would have lava darted them, I think we would have. We 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 could have won. But we're still in decent. We're still in decent shape. They have to block the Abbot. Hopefully they, they don't slam Obosh and then play a Lightning Bolt. Because actually if we would have um have darted them, it turns out turns out we would have had lethal. So they, they got more season tokens. Could keep the pressure on. Yeah, we could and we should keep the pressure on. Let's do that. This way, if we draw a Swiss Spear next turn, maybe it's a victory. Yep. Do maybe we can't pump it.
Let's see here. No boss and a lightning bolt. Not quite. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we can uh, make something happen next turn. That firebolt never heard. They do not. Hopefully they can't string together a win. Well, it's kind of likely that they can. Man, just disappointing knowing that we could have won. But, you know, so it goes. I think we'll take the trade with Gigantha if, uh, if they... Well, now we have to. We have to take the trade, otherwise we just lose. Don't tell me I got lava dart in there. No, I don't. Um, well, we're gonna attack because obviously, if they could have dealt with Giganta, then they could just win. Then they would have just won. So, oh shoot, kind of forgot about that. But it's okay. We've got the soul scar for the chumps. We're both kind of one burn spell away from losing. Alright, definitely sweet. This is a grind fest, so we're going to pass. Uh, we, if we burn a land off the top also, that's just really bad. Uh, I could stomp, but we'll save it. Again, this is kind of a grind fest, so... And we kind of need to dig for lands. Alright, well that's one card, that's one non-land out of the way from the top. Season Pyromancer can't do that. Of course, you can just draw three mana, and then Season Pyromancer is better if you just... But, you know, here, actually, Abbott is infinitely better. All right, well, let's uh, draw into that land that's eluding us. Yeah, Abbott is significantly better when you need to hit your third land. Because we're digging for it. If they attack, we might just block. Because Lava Dart kind of makes it awkward anyway. All right, well, you know, there's value to keeping them off lands. Well, let's get that land. Yeah!
So much for us being the more hyper-aggressive version. But I mean, we did maximize our chances of drawing a... Uh, drawing a land. Season Pyromancer looks better this game, but, but we never would have been able to cast it anyway. Well, there's our land. It's GG.